gay anarchist sex. The final frontier. These are the voyagers of flaming freedom. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new fetishes and sexual positions, to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. All right, queers, listen up. This is your captain speaking. The hosts of this program have slaved away in their sex dungeon to bring you this audio file. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. It starts out rough. It might even hurt. After a bit of lube and some gentle caressing, I think you'll start to enjoy it. Flaming Freedom, the queerest generation. Freedom. We're live this Thursday, February 5th, 2015. You can call into the show by dialing 413-424-8347 or by Skyping In Your Head Shows. We're not giving head. It's In Your Head. With me, it's Dale. Hey, Dale. Hi, Derek. Good to and, be back. Uh, I'm, yeah, good to be back on Flaming Freedom. We did this years ago, and now I've topped. Uh, you are the bottom in this situation because you started Flaming Freedom, but I'm taking it over now. Well, that's it's been a while, so you know, plenty of lube and patience is all I'm asking. Hello. Hello. So I just logged in to hear plenty of lube and patience. All right. All right. So we got one. Yeah, I'm here. So I do think we need to, we may need to adjust her levels, though. Hey, Lauren. Welcome to uh, Flaming Freedom. Good to have you on. We weren't sure if we were going to have you tonight. Well, here I am. Where are you? I am in Florida right now. Why? Sitting by a a pool. That sounds... Oh, that sounds... I was going to say horrible, but actually I'm jealous that you're next to a pool. I'm in frigid New Hampshire uh, in the keen portion. Uh, Dale is in Manchester, New Hampshire, and uh, we're all connected right now via different avenues, not using Fiend Phone yet. We're using Skype and Google Hangouts, a combination of these things. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get uh, this echo, whatever's happening right now, taken care of during the next break. But for now, we'll ignore that and just say, uh, L- Lauren, welcome to the show. Thanks for being on. Hey, thanks so much. So. Like, Flaming Freedom, we're sort of starting in medias race, the, uh, the starting things in the middle, because we don't need to go through who, like, yeah, we might need to talk about who, who we are a little bit for newcomers, but the show wasn't gone for very long. Uh, what, what's the history of Flaming Freedom here, Dale? Well, the, the weirdest part is that we started off with a different name. We started yeah. off with Prometheus Unchained. Which was a, a cool name, but hard to spell and not good for URLs and things. You know, right. If you want someone to find your website, you don't want them to have to spell Prometheus Unchained. <laughs> so uh, we and we made it, we got uh, Flaming Freedom right about the same time, and we were giving out that URL URL, but it was horrible branding, right? Because we were saying our name is Prometheus Unchained, but our website is FlamingFreedom.com. Makes no sense. Yeah, we had PrometheusUnchained.org, I think, but we wanted a .com as well, so. Yeah, it, it was it was a little wonky, and a lot of people really liked Flaming Freedom when we threw it by them, so we just decided to uh, try to do a rebranding before we got too deep into the show, and, and uh, we try to talk about liberty subjects uh, on the one hand, and particularly from an LGBT perspective, right? But we I also know. figured out over I time... I talk about sex. That's, that's my goal. What's that? I <laughs> said, so I just wanted to talk about sex. That's my goal because. Uh, and I'm, LR- I'm glad to continue that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, LRN is great, and I host a few shows, uh, Cop Lock Radio. I just finished a show called Peace News that I retired for good, and um, I didn't get to curse or talk about um, sex on any of them. And I just think it's too much fun. There's an LGBT liberty community out there that's. Um, you know, underrepresented. So here we are, giving it to the people, and there there may not be very many. Like the internet's great for this thing, narrow casting, 
like uh, radio does broadcasting, where you have to be generalized, and uh, like Free Talk Live is a show on over 160 radio stations across the country. They need to be able to talk about stuff that's going to appeal to a wide audience, but we don't need to do that. We can say, fuck the general audience. Right. Look, There's plenty of that out there, like you said. Plenty of that. And, uh, and you started Homotarians, right? Yeah, yeah, it's this uh, Facebook group. So if anyone's listening to this show right now, they should absolutely join the Facebook group Homotarians uh, because there's so few of us out there. We need to be connected. Um, but it is really cool to see how many of us there are, and the group is growing every day. So feel free to add yourself, add your friends. They need to be, like, anarchist types. I don't want these bootlicking statists going in this group. No, no, we need no, to keep no. it going. Hey, I was, we were all there at some point. Surely you didn't get born into well yeah you were probably born an anarchist but i mean at some point you you had to go through a period of the the uh, uh you know snapping out of it or what liberty the word? puberty no, no programming to like become a uh, yeah the, the, like learn that lifestyle no you're born that way right it's true but we all get programmed right as status and then we have to deprogram so and we all went through that i mean how many of us were anarchist pure through and through from the moment we were babies right so we have to have patience for some other people and if we don't if we try I, to uh, Mary, we're not going to reach anyone and actually get the message out there I don't even remember that transition anymore I know like people talk about that hey I need to mention while we're still in our first segment that there we did a first episode for the people and um, it was like a practice episode it is posted right now to DerekJ.me my personal blog and it's for download in Bitcoin. How cool is that? Oh. So if you send Bitcoin to this one website, I don't know what the, like, I, we haven't tested it yet, so please, someone uh, try it out. But if you send Bitcoin to this one Bitcoin address, it should allow you to download the, the um, file. And it doesn't need to be any certain amount of Bitcoin. We recommend, like, I don't know, a dollar or something. But, yeah, just give us some Bitcoin, and we'll give you the raunchiest episode of Flaming Freedom yet. Talk about some of Derek's fetishes. Yeah, we do talk about fetishes, which really got me on a train. Like, I want to talk more about fetishes, Dale. Uh, you, um, you had the, a show topic idea of butt waxing parties, and this oh, really yeah. appealed to <laughs> Yeah. Have you done that? Okay. It's like, it comes from that expression, right? You wax my butt, I wax yours. I think that's it, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's an eight scratch your back. That's it. Scratch your back. You, I scratch your back. You scratch mine. Uh, right. But yeah, it's it's hard to wax your own butt, right? Have Have you I, done it? I haven't, and, uh, but I I don't think I want to try. That's why you need a butt waxing party, right? I, I've tried. So, uh, I've done. Oh, you can you can go to CVS and get some of the the waxing things, and they like say it's for legs. They have like pictures of legs on there, but people don't use that for their legs. Come on. So, <laughs> but I tried, and it's so hard to to actually use those things effectively. I don't know about you, um, oh, yeah, but I, you need. I, I can I've waxed, just not my butt. Like that sounds challenging. It is challenging. I don't know how everyone's doing it. Like I I tried. And it was really super painful. But you got to go to a, like a professional to get that stuff done. Do you shave? Do you shave your ass? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, the, what little I need to, I do. But I'd like to just wax it. You're like hairless anyway. What about you, Lauren? Uh, what are you asking specifically? Grooming habits down there. Grooming habits. I, I like to keep uh, things very well groomed, as clean and I, tidy as possible. As clean. I'm completely hairless. I don't. I don't. I don't like the. The pube That's stuff, my, my, I don't my like... My preference, yeah. Yeah, personally. yeah. I mean, like, I'm just, so there's some women that where it's like, it makes sense. It's like, wow, that's really soft and nice. But for me, no, I can't. I can't be doing that. What do you mean? No. You, you don't like it soft or you do? I don't understand. No, I do, like, on other people, just not on me. Oh, okay. So how much of a bush do you have down there? <laughs> there's nothing there. Well, then... I just that on the air. Wow. Ah. That's a big step for I, I me. Totally you really approve of... <laughs> Of high grooming standards for body hair and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I approve. I think it's a good indication. I look at what people do with their face, and that tells me how much they care about grooming down there. Because, like, if people got long, scraggly beards, it's a pretty good indication that they don't give a fuck about what's going on down there. And I don't appreciate that. You, you got to trim up and shave. I'm not kissing. I don't know about you, Dale. Do you kiss bearded men? I, I would, uh, but it, I mean, 
not not a lazy bearded man, but someone who has a well kept beard, and then you can tell that it's not there, it's not there because they're lazy. It's there because they right. Look, and some guys can pull it off, and some can't. But I'll tell you what really upsets me is that there's a guy who has a really beautiful like chiseled face and a great chin and all that stuff, and then he covers it up with too much beard. Like you, it, it can complement it if he does it right, right? But if he just like has a big shaggy beard and covering up a really cute face, I'm, that's just upsetting. Like, don't Ugh. cover that. Why are you covering that up? If you've got a pretty face, well, why hide it? Yeah. You know, one of the things that really Double. bothers me about New Hampshire is it's part of the culture here that people have, like, beards, these big, burly beards. It's disgusting. Yeah. Get rid of that. <laughs> Save that shit off. Well. I'm glad uh, Pete Ayer not- had one of these beards. It was like Lysander Spooner big. And finally he got a girlfriend, and she was like, no. We're not having that. They coincided. He didn't say it was because of his girlfriend, but I think he shaved it because of the girl. <laughs> All right, more more beards and bushes. When we heard Jaron, this is Flaming Freedom. First episode, The Queerest Generation. This Your Family Day tip is brought to you. All right, let's figure out this echo thing Yeah. while we're on, the, while we are on this break. So, uh, Lauren, give me a little bit of count to ten. Lauren? I'm still here. Okay. Oh, what are you, connected via team? Team speak? She is. Oh. I'm connected by team. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, well then. Yeah, so you go to microphone yeah. are you using? So I'm going to do that, and then I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay. Yeah, I sent her a few notes on uh, team speak. I don't know if she noticed them come through, but I could definitely hear, like, typing and, and sort of things going on in the background with whatever microphone that was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, isn't that possibly yeah. causing the echo also, since she's possibly rebroadcasting? Yeah, I wonder if she's even using headphones. Yeah, Lauren, are you using earbuds? Switch oh, mics. She may have disconnected to... Uh... No, she's still there. Okay, can we get her on, on Google Hangouts? Yeah, Lauren, jump on Google Hangouts. That'll be better. Okay, she's disabled her mic. Okay. And now it's re-enabled. I think we should we could talk a little bit about the differences in grooming standards between men and women, because I've said before that I don't I I I, I seek gender equality, but rather than lower the standards of grooming for women, I'd rather raise the standards for men. Hey, Lauren, are you I, there? Yeah, I agree, Dale. Let's go there. I'm not hearing Lauren. I don't know why. I'm not hearing anyone anymore. It sounded like there was an open mic. Lauren here. Oh, hi. Okay. Hey. Lauren, it doesn't sound like it's a microphone now. It sounds like it's a little more closed. Lauren, we were, okay. we Lauren are you We here? want her on Google Hangouts. Right? You can hear us, Lauren? Ding! You guys can hear me, right? I can. Okay. Lauren, can you hear Ian? Lauren? Yeah, she can't hear any of us, apparently. Maybe she's connecting on Google, hopefully. No, she the good says... News is whatever that second microphone sounded like it wasn't uh, picking up as much of the background noise, so it might be an improvement. There's moon out tonight. Do you have a way of chatting with? Yeah, I'm chatting with her now on uh, Facebook. She says, I can connect via Skype, but it looks like that's occupied. Is it? Yeah. Uh, you can't do Google Hangouts? You tried that already? She says, Google Hangouts does not work on this machine. I've oh, never heard on, of that. She's on a Linux machine. Commodore 64? Long story, she says. Okay. Well, connect via Skype then. We can have multiple callers. Mine or yours. Did she answer Lauren. whether she was using headphones? Uh, no, she has not. She did not answer or she's not using headphones? Has not answered.
Okay, she says she's staying on the team speak. Hello. Butt waxing and how women and men have different standards currently, but we'd rather raise the standard for men than lower the standard for women. Are we on the same page here, Dale? Absolutely. I've said it before. Why shouldn't it be universal? Uh, shouldn't. That's fine, as long as the standard is higher for everybody. Right. We should be evolving toward greater grooming standards instead of lower grooming standards. I agree with that. Well, what, what are, so, all right, what's the base level grooming standard? For, there are, but most guys, I think, I'm just putting this out there, not for, I don't know, what for gay guys, there's like a standard of grooming. But am I being, I don't know, I, I can't speculate about straight guys. I just presume that they're not um, doing anything, because most of the time when I use bathrooms, I see pubes that are longer than most girls' hair. I mean, like, these pube hairs are so freaking long. They're like, I don't know, like three inches long. This is not okay. No, that's not. Uh, you need to trim that shit down at least. If you don't want to shave it or wax it, even better than at least trim it down to like some manageable level. They should be pretty short. Like if you if you insist on having some pubic hair, it's a fine, but have it pretty short. So like, yeah, when you're going down on a guy and uh, you're like sucking on his balls a little bit, I don't want a mouthful of hair. Yeah, you, oh, you don't want it tickling your nostrils either, right? That's very distracting. <laughs> no, your nostrils. It's that like okay, so I'll kiss a guy on the head. You'll you'll kiss someone's uh, on top of their head and, and kiss their hair, and that's okay. Um, and it's okay if the the pubes are like you're you're feeling a little bit on your lips, but you should be able to grab a mouthful of hair with with your mouth. Well, this that's is what you're, about. you're bringing up the fact that if you kiss the person on the head, that it's soft, it feels good, and on on men. The pubic hair, you know, if you it's soft and it feels good on women. On men, it's just it's ugh, it's not. Really? Yeah, it's coarser. I assume. I don't yeah. know about women. I don't know what women's pubic hair. I think like. it's okay for for the ladies to kind of let a little little bit grow, as long as it's you know well well taken care of. Do you well shampoo? Loved. Do you shampoo down there? Do I? Yeah, yeah. I always I'm used like, to. I, I told you, I, I I don't. No, there's nothing there. Right, right. But when you did. I mean, I, I don't have anything there anymore either, but I, I appreciate when people would shampoo. I think it would make it a little bit softer. The conditioner helps. There was a time in my life when I would use conditioner, and that would help. That's kind of disgusting just to think about, like, oh, we're conditioning our pubes. And it'll be a little bit softer. Because no one, I mean, how many other people were enjoying that? It was mostly you, right? Um, no, there were, there were people. Oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah. then. Oh yeah. Luke, Luke Sanks had his pubes waxed once. Ew. That sounds like it was really that's gotta hurt. I mean oh, that's very ew. He was like it, it was so excruciating. Excruciating. But he was uh smooth as a baby. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Who is this? Uh, the, <laughs> uh Lucas Crookshanks, he used to be Fred. You know the guy that does Fred? That I really know. high pitched voice uh, guy pretending to be a little boy and he oh, does this thing. yeah weird for a long time so now he has stopped doing Fred for the most part but he's he's his real name is Lucas Crookshanks and he's got a channel on YouTube and he did a video where he talked about how his girlfriend went to get like a Brazilian wax I guess that's what they're called right and she talked him into doing it too so he just did it on a lark like, oh, okay let's try it and it, was, it was like sixty dollars or something in New York or something and uh, he said it was excruciatingly painful, but once he started, he felt like he had to finish, so he did. And I'd like apparently they waxed everything. I don't know. I, it sounds like not safe to like wax your scrotum, but I get the impression that they did that as well. No, I, that is that's what they do. I mean, they they wax everything around your asshole, around everything, and then they just rip that sheet right off. And uh, you know, I feel like you you have to have a certain length of hair there for for waxing to work. And I can't wait that long. Like I can't, uh, I can't stand to have a hairy area down there. It's just like it's unacceptable. Not that I want to be like a twelve-year-old boy or anything, but like it's, 
it's just a it's a gross out factor for me. Like it's a it's a grooming thing. So and besides, I hate seeing these uh, pubes everywhere on the toilet bowl. I don't know if you guys. I have roommates and I share a bathroom with lots of people. Even in public restrooms, you see, it's like they're trying to escape. I mean, it's like they've been falling out all over the place. Like people are balding. Uh, down there, and and when they like open up their pants, it just all escapes. All the all the pubes are running by. And, and being it's, it's it grows in cycles. So all hair falls out. It just grows back in, assuming you're not balding, right? So and that's true of body hair as well. So your body hair is always falling out a little bit at a time and then being replaced. Do pubes go bald? Can you go bald down there? I think it would take a particular condition. There are some people who have. Hair loss conditions that cause uh, hair loss in other places besides the head, but uh, it can be a, it can be diseases or skin issues or things like that that can cause it, I guess. But, yeah, uh, but normally people are going to lose people pubes. Are not. Dale? What was that, Lauren? The genetic factors involved are actually specific to the, to the male Y chromosome and to um, balding of of the scalp. Yeah, uh, the head. Yeah. There, there is some balding that occurs for both genders as aging occurs. Yeah. So yes. I just, I just learned that pubes can go gray. Like I thought pubes were always black. Nope, they absolutely can go gray. That's horrible. That's how I know that. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm not gonna say how I know that. Are your pubes gray? Uh, some, a few. Whoa! Do you feel the need to dye those? I would. I would need to dye that right away. Uh, I don't leave enough down there to, for it to matter too much. Right, right, right. But, uh, like, what about some just for men? I don't want to look prepubescent, but I want, it, I, you know, I want it to be very neat and tidy. Yeah, I don't know. Like, some guys' beards will turn gray, and then their hair on top won't, and uh, s stuff like that. Like, um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I wouldn't want any sort of indication like that. Like, you want, uh, you want some youthful indication there. <laughs> right. Maybe, I, yeah. I don't. It's not enough for me to worry about it too much yet, but I imagine, you know, we'll see. So I I want to know. Uh, did you watch porn today, Dale? I did not really. No. Whoa, uh, too busy. What's the deal? Yeah, I, I was I was too busy with other things, and uh, I had to I had to deal with other stuff. So You're I, being I, very, vague. very vague. I, I need I, to know what, what's more important than porn every day. <laughs> It's it's uh it's rare for me maybe once a week or once every two. Are weeks. you you're lying? I Fuck will you. skip a day and not not get to it. Once a week. Who do you think you're kidding? Once every two weeks maybe. I think. What? Yeah, okay. I don't think so. You sent me some porn for research for this uh, episode, and yeah. I really I I I I almost am ready to play this. Wait, what are you, are you? I think you're misunderstanding me. I'm not saying that I watch porn once a week. That's what I thought I, you said. I'm saying I skip it once a week. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So you're on schedule. Yeah. Like once every two weeks or so, I'll have a busy day and I just don't get to it. All right. Well, make sure during this break that you watch some porn, Dale. It's important. And I hope okay. you at home will do the same. We all need to research this. We'll be right back. This is Flaming Freedom. Hey, you can Skype into the program by <laughs> dialing in your head shows. Why? Hey, Lauren, are we able to get you on Skype? That was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, it sounded like maybe Lauren figured out some audio issues. It seemed to clear up uh, during that segment. Or maybe she just... Lauren? I don't know. Lauren? Something differently. Oh, she says she's setting up Skype. Okay. Apparently, my Facebook is making noises. Yeah, I was hearing the ping. Uh, that's so weird. I thought I had everything muted. Like I, th I, th I think it was Lauren's, actually. I, I'm pretty sure my computer, from a long time back, has been set up so that it has no sound. Like all the computer sound is turned off because I do shows out of this computer. I thought I figured it. I I thought it was Lauren anyway, but it's not uh, a big deal. I heard like one paching. She has muted her microphone. Where, where do I, Lauren? Tell me where to find that. She has muted her microphone at the moment. You, Dale, your sounds are on the Skype channel of your mixer. No, I'm not. I, yeah, I know that. I, you, <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not helpful. I can't I turn that off. I can't hear you, and you can't hear me. <laughs> I'm using that to communicate with you. So how do I turn off uh, Facebook sounds on Facebook? Where's the setting on Facebook to do that? Well, if you Google it, it'll it'll give you the step by step. I, I I don't know how this is even possible because I could swear all my sounds are turned off on my computer forever and ever. I think it is. I'm not hearing any. Messed with it. I'm not hearing any now, Dale. You can turn off computer sounds, Dale, but uh, other programs like you know YouTube or something else on a website can certainly make sound. Uh. I'm not blaming. You. Maybe it's somebody else. Maybe it's Derek. I My really sound scheme is hey, hey. sounds. Okay, Lauren is skyping me. Hmm. Hello. Yeah, did I Skype into Derek? Or you... This could be skyped into Dale. She's connecting to Dale, and then Dale's connecting to you, Derek J. And then you're connecting to Teamspeak. Lauren, can you talk at us for a moment? I heard her for a second there when she connected. Yeah. I did. I can hear her barely. Um, let me see if there's any. I can't hear anything. I don't hear her either. Uh, I can't hear barely right there, but just barely. Yeah. Speak again, Lauren. I'm going to just keep speaking. I'm going to count to Not 10. Gonna just let me know when the break coming up. Yeah, it's too quiet. It's too quiet. Yeah. Maybe you should connect with Derek instead. Over what? You want me to sign into a Skype that you can connect on, Lauren? I can do that. Yeah, sign into Peace News now, or uh, send a message to Peace News now on on Skype, and I'll I'll put you on that way. Right away. Cool. When you do that, will Dale be able to hear her? Yeah. Okay. I think we're gonna be back in a moment here. Boom 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 boom. boom, boom, boom. I was listening to oldies all day. Hi, you're and Lauren. Hello. How's that? Is that airable? I can can't tell her? from here. I do have a bit of an echo in my headset, but I can ignore myself. I'm hearing you better than any at all than earlier. Better sure. than ever now. Here we go. Fantastic. Uh, 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. <laughs> Welcome back. It is Flaming Freedom, the queerest generation. This is a, like what, a third revamp of the show, and uh, I've decided to top Dale and Lauren are my subs. I'm cracking the whip and uh, changing positions quite a bit here in the, the early episodes of the show because we're, we're trying all different sorts of audio combinations, and we do it live because uh, it's messy, and that's the way we like it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Messy. That's what it's all about. No, we're just going over how clean and cl well shaven we like everything to be. Yeah. Do you shave your chest? I do. Take do I? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, w I was asking Dale more. I I've oh. never seen your your I, this is not. It's barely. It's barely. It, yeah, there's hardly anything really there to shave. I I did <laughs> wax the the, the, the the like really light blonde peach fuzz before. And it's and I and it doesn't hurt because there's it's so little, but which I'm fine about. I don't want I don't want a chest hair anyway. So more importantly, you were just admitting before uh, we went to the last break that you uh, did not watch any porn today. I'm very disappointed in you, uh, but you did send me some of my favorite porn. You actually did some research for me, uh, and I appreciate this. So this is something we should probably start posting these things to Homotarian. I'm a, I won't lie, Derek. I mean, I didn't find that for you. I found <laughs> it and liked it and thought, hey, no, Derek will like this as well. So there you go. Yeah, you know, that could be a thing. Like, there are there porn sharing groups? Is this a, Have we invented something? Or this probably already exists. I mean, it's, it's the there internet. Huh? Porn there are. Yeah. I mean, I know there are, like, forums and stuff where people share porn, but this is, like... A very specific niche. This is uh, people and their friends sharing porn. This I've never heard of that. I think we should do. Maybe there should be a section on our, our 
on our website, either on flamingfreedom.com or on facebook.com slash flamingfreedom, some kind of section that has links to porn based on subject matter that other people and the, sh the other homotarians have enjoyed. I like it. We can call it the section. Yes. <laughs> That's so bad. So, yeah, I, I revealed... Um, You're stopping us. So... We we talked about fetishes a little bit on the first episode, but we're gonna have to get into that. I mean that. So the first episode, uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, is behind a paywall. And there are some things that are too revealing for uh, a a non-paying audience, but we're gonna have to talk about fetishes again many times on this show. So it might as well come up. Uh, I've got a long list of fetishes and things I enjoy. Um, I like BBC. Yeah. The, the British you know what that is, you have to watch that episode. You have to watch the first episode. You, everyone knows what BBC is. Don't. No, they don't. It was really surprising. I tried to tell some people, and they were like, what? And I'm like, sorry, you have to watch that episode to find out. Are you fucking kidding me? I know, it's crazy. I've, I've been researching porn and all different kinds. I like So, variety is important. You can never watch the same kind of porn that you just watched. You know, I, I don't know if you feel the same way. But, like, if I see one thing, I don't want to see that again for a little while. Okay. Well, you got to move on, like, to new ethnicities, to new uh, arrangements, uh, orgy stuff. I love orgies. I think that's pretty natural, like, though. Than three, and I get, it's too distracting. I can't. Three people, well, maybe, but that's it. Have you ever been in an orgy? Yes. I'm too afraid. I can't do it. I didn't like it though. I again, I I joined a three-person thing, and more people just started joining until I was like, okay, I'm out of here. Seriously, what were like people walking in the door? What kind of place was we this? A party, and we didn't have anywhere to go. We tried to think of somewhere to go, but this was like in college, and no one really had somewhere to go. So, so what we were in the lounge. Tried to find like a, a somewhat secluded part of the house that this party oh was. God. This was a this was a Valentine's Day gay underwear party. That's awesome. So you knew, you pretty much knew going to this party that uh, there was going to be an orgy, right? You're all in underwear and it's Valentine's Day. We're no, all I single really. too? I didn't know that. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. I was that naive, yeah. Oh, I'm just going to wear my underwear and nothing sexual is going to happen. What kind I of underwear did underwear you wear? Underwear parties happening at like public events and I, I, I assumed that they were just supposed to be sexy, you could see everyone's bodies, but I didn't think that people actually had sex. That's one thing we haven't gotten to yet today, and the uh, listening audience can enjoy this, but those of you who are already tuned in at DerekJ.me, uh, this is one thing I want to make a regular thing. This is the underwear I'm wearing today. Check it out. It's got this nice little pink stripe. It's got the classic little, like, peephole thing, and um, they are boxer briefs. What are you wearing, Dale? I didn't even get to see it because oh, come on. your frame froze up. Okay. Well, good. Hopefully it fr freezes up again on the, on the right frame. These are the underwear that I'm wearing right now. Mine's boxer briefs, but it's not sexy. I just test them like Haynes boxer briefs. Show it. Show it, Dale. Not, not sexy, I'll show, but... So, during the last episode, I was uh, explaining I was wearing whitey tighties, and I never wear whitey tighties. I haven't done that. Er, so you have to speak into your microphone so that we can see you full screen. Okay. There you go. What do you need? Oh. You need uh, that's so lame, Dale. Come on. Why do you even own those underwear? I... You can't bring that over to a guy's house. Don't, don't tell me you've worn that over to a date. Those, that is not date underwear. What are you doing wearing those? I'm done with all that stuff. You're done with dating? What? Have you, what? what porn is for. I'm done. <laughs> no, no, seriously. What are you talking about? You've given up on dating? Pretty much. I mean, if, if a guy falls into my lap, you know, we'll see. But Falls <laughs> into your lap. So, all right. So, yeah, I want to know about that um, preference. You're, you're a switch, right? I'm a bottom. Me? Well, yeah. barely. Fair. I mean, it, like I said, it depends on who I'm with. But, I mean, there's some Latinos who could... There's some Latinos that, you know, maybe a Latino could part these butt cheeks, but for the most part, I, I would say... I'm kind of here. For the listeners in the audience who don't speak this language, bottom, sub, what is all... <laughs> What is it, Lauren? I don't know. I'd say I'd, I, I'm for the most part a top, and have been for some time. It would, it, it's that that feels like in my past. Is is the topping only about? Maybe, but it would be. Dale, 
Yes, go ahead, Lauren. Like, is it just about a sex thing or is it a dominance thing? No, no. Re well, a little bit, but not not so much. Like when I say top, in in the gay world, top and bottom doesn't necessarily refer to dominance and stuff. It 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 kind of does, but not as much. It's more about just what sexual position you're in. Like whether you're giving or receiving in the anal department. Pretty much all it means in the gay world. Okay. Yeah. You say yeah. you're there, that, like, that's what it means. It doesn't mean much more than that. Yeah, and there's also um, pitching and catching are, are some pretty common um, euphemisms for topping and bottoming, but it's really important. I mean, on Grindr, or, which is a, a gay, you know, sex hookup app, um, or any of these gay hookup apps, people need to make very clear what they're into or what they want. Um, so they'll, like, put a little, uh, like, up arrow if you're a top, and that's going to mean that you're going to stick your dick in another guy's ass. Or if you're a bottom, that means you want to uh, be fucked in the ass by another guy. Yeah, that's how it works. I don't actually see. I've never seen any lesbians on Grinder. Is that even allowed? Can women be on that? Grindr, are there specific? Okay. I might have some insights here. Okay. There oh, yeah. are no lesbians on the internet. There's no lesbian porn. It just doesn't exist. Yeah, right. this is something you revealed to me in the first episode. Why? What, what? What is this all about? Why are there no lesbians on the internet? What are they busy doing? You know, I'm doing some research right now, trying to figure out why that is. Renovations, uh, carpentry. Carpentry <laughs> porn. I'll have to. I'll have to Google that. Hey, so Lauren, there's a there's a a jerk off um, expression with your hand where people say like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, and they they do the like uh, back and forth with their hand. What's the lesbian equivalent of the, of the <gasps> uh, jerk off hand equivalent? I feel like I've seen this. I think I think a lot of them still do the jerk off thing. I don't know if if it's like a like a I don't know ghost penis. Yeah, yeah. They're stroking but, their ghost penis. Yeah, but I feel like I've seen some other, like, it involved two hands. Some other sign. It was really late at night when two I saw hands. it. Two hands? They do scissoring exists. then, right? I've seen, no, no, no. It's, scissoring's different. It's It was definitely some kind of bean flicking thing. Whoa. All right. It's, I'll have to look. I'm, I'm doing some serious research here. Yeah, we're all going to do some serious I'm research. Uh, really? While LRN sells some stuff. We'll be right back. What, what, Dale? Very serious. Huh? Very serious. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do some research right now. Stop talking to me. I'm busy. Licking the bean. Licking the bean. <laughs> Ugh. I'm sorry. To be completely and totally honest, I watched like 30 seconds of porn today. Oh, yeah. Now you reveal it. You didn't want to tell LRN, but you'll tell the no, YouTube audience. You were taught, you're, you're Chatting away, I was starting to say it, but it just didn't get a chance to stick it in there. But right. um, yeah, it's, it was just like it was some porn that was paused from the day before, and it was still there, but I didn't like actually you didn't finish it. yesterday. Uh, well, I just lost Lauren. Uh, I probably finished just faster than the porn. <laughs> so then I just paused it. So you can pause it and you start, and then you can watch the rest the next day, right? Isn't that, isn't that how it works? Like when I had VHS tapes, you would put the tape in, you would hit play, you would watch it. And it would be like an hour and a half movie, right? Oh, I should tell this during the show. Yeah, it is during the show. I mean, Talk we're on video it. during breaks. Oh, okay. So, like, when you had VHS, this is before your time, Derek, but VHS porn, you'd go to the store, you'd buy VHS porn, it would be maybe 90 minutes long. You wouldn't need 90 minutes of it. You'd need maybe 10 or 15 minutes of it. Right. Sorry, this is Lauren calling back in. <clears throat> hey! Whoa. Oh, hey, hello. Are you there? Why did we lose her? Yeah, I'm here, but I'm going through the wrong microphone. I sure am. I'm seeing a supernova explosion on my screen. Is that what? Is, what's your icon? What's that all about? Ah, what am I hearing in my ears? You're hurting me. This is microphone rape. Yeah, that's speaking of rape. That's one of the things. Oh, Lauren left. That's one of the things I wanted to get into with you, Dale. It's like, uh, here we go. Again. Boom. How, do I, how about now? Let's test my my audio. Will you guys take a minute? Yeah. That? Yeah. We've right. got two minutes. Cool. Um. Yeah. No, things are pretty good here. You sound good. 
All right, thanks. You're welcome. I'm, I'm trying to hook up a really nice mic, and I just can't do it. What a nice mic are you trying to hook up? It's not mine, so I don't know. It's a you know, it's a USB. It's um, CAD U thirty seven. CAD U thirty seven. Yeah, th this is okay for now, I suppose. But yeah, you sound good right now. Let's just stick with this then. So, Lauren, this is probably before your time as well. But VHS porn, you would buy it, you would watch about fifteen or twenty minutes, then you would get bored with it uh, suddenly, and for some weird reason, you would not be interested in watching it anymore. Right? <laughs> and so you would just stop it, and then the next day, when you wanted more porn, you would just hit play again, and from where it left off, you would keep watching it. So you never like sat and watched an hour and a half of porn, right? Who, whoever watches a porn movie from beginning to end. I did in my younger days. It was a weird thing. Like, you'd be with, at a friend's house, and you'd watch porn or something. No way. Yeah, it, it, it can be a communal thing where you, you do that, yeah. Have you watched porn with other people? Oh, yeah. I, have, what, I, I didn't have I any really when did. I was uh, first coming out, like in my 19, 20, 21, in, those, in that range. I would yeah. go, I'd be, someone would invite me over to watch porn, and then, and because I was a naive young youngster, I didn't realize that they were trying to have sex. You're right? so naive, Dale. I cannot believe the things yeah. that you would do and not know that they were about sex. Oh, I went to a, an underwear party on Valentine's Day with a bunch of gay dudes in a dorm room and uh, yeah, I had no idea. I should have brought condoms and lube. Yeah. yeah. Here. Here we go. Dot com. Hey, it's my movie. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our I'm going to plug my movie. Forum .lrn .fm. I'm doing that. Forum Can't stop LRN me. LRN .fm. Do it. Hey, we're doing it live, and uh, this segment of Flaming Freedom is brought to you by my movie, Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. It's free. Victimlesscrimespree.com. There's no reason not to. I run from the police. How often do you get to see that and uh, the person lives? So, you know, spoiler alert, I go to jail and I am not in jail anymore. So, you know, it's a happy ending, but not that kind of happy yeah. ending. Bike. Get run down by a cop car on your bike and get <laughs> into and... oh man I was so angry uh, and sad when that happened but I can laugh so hard at it now so uh, yeah I do get knocked over from a, a police officer who's like roid raging anyway we were talking about porn which is way more important so uh, those those you know when you're finished watching victimless crime spree uh, go get some VHS porn Neil's going to tell us about what that was like back in the for the folks who didn't get to see during the break, uh, I'll repeat it. They, when you got VHS porn, this is pre-internet, you'd go to the, an actual store for porn, you would buy a, a tape, you'd get it out of the bargain bin, because the other ones are too expensive, and then you'd have like a 90-minute porn tape. Well, you don't need 90 minutes of porn all at one time, right? You need 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, and then you would suddenly get lose interest in the porn for some reason, right? You just didn't want to watch it anymore. So then you would just stop it, and the next next day or so, you would hit play again and just continue where you left off, and you would eventually see the entire tape. That's how it worked. And you, I still do that now with online videos. I'll, I'll keep the tab open, pause it, and then maybe watch the rest the next day. Right? Do you only have a 15-minute attention span? I don't understand. My testicles only have a 15-minute attention span. <laughs> Hey, Lauren, I oh. want to know, you, uh, you're, uh, it's the T part of LGBT, have, since you are T, have, uh, or, or trans, I guess is the, the proper, what's the proper word? I don't want to be rude. I want to be accurate and, uh, and sensitive. So, like, what's, what, am I being rude? Well, no, not, I mean, not at all. I, I prefer to be non-identifying, but that's not oh. very useful on a radio show, because yeah. everyone's like, what? Well, okay, you can be non-identifying, but uh, have I want to know, have your uh, masturbation habits changed because of the transition? Ooh, that's a good uh, question. So I wasn't expecting this. This wasn't in the show prep here, but <laughs> yes, yeah. quite, quite significantly. You care to talk about it? It's totally different. No, you know, maybe in another show. You'll have to tune in when I'm prepared for this. Oh, okay, okay. Well, want I want to know. I want to know what it's like for a guy, because there was, or for a girl, because there was an episode of Seinfeld where you know they're all holding out, or no, there was a, there was, you know, their one famous, um, you know, the the masturbation bet where they see who. Oh, right. But then. Right. 
term they were using for that, about controlling it. They had a term. Master of your domain. Master of your domain. Yeah, yeah right. so I don't know if it was the same episode or not, but George gets really smart, and Elaine uh, gets really dumb, and part of this is somehow like, no, 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 that's a different episode where one or the other is not getting sex. But what I'm, what, the point I'm trying to make is that masturbation helps me think clearly. Like, I can't, I, there gets to be oh, a certain point. Absolutely. Huh? I, I completely agree. I, that's the thing. It's just well, something you have to do. To you're both feminine. No, no. Uh, wait, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, exactly. So we're both feminine in that sense. Like, I need to, I, I, like, yeah, I can do so much work for so long, and then it's just like, I can't think anymore. I need to jerk off. There's like there's no more thinking or working that's going to happen until this next step takes place. And then after that, I'm fine. I don't know, Dale, is this the same for you? Uh, not quite. I would say that it's just that you, until you get your sex drive under control, you can't focus. And that's, that's, the, that's right. my thought. A, a but sexual I, will keep intruding into my mind until I get them out of there. I, I have to drugs for that. So that I can think about other things. What, do you, what drugs do you have for that? What are you talking about? So part of what I've experienced is a reduction in sex drive as I've transitioned from male to female. No, oh. Lauren. No, 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 Lauren. That's not acceptable. <laughs> well, okay, it's, fine. Then. It's not it's acceptable. A, I'll explain further. No, well, no, before you go on, though. It's, it's, it's ever been before in my whole life. Hey, that men and women have the same sex drive. Yeah, I can't hear you. Sorry. What? Go ahead. Feminists say that men and women have the exact same sex drive. They're the same in every way. They're the same. You're still listening to feminists? No, I'm not. I'm, not. I'm just saying. I'm just being a, a smart ass. Go ahead, Lauren. Sorry. Shh. Oh, I, I don't have a, a good attention span. What are we talking about? I don't know. I wanted we're not to, talking about me masturbating or anything. Yeah, we were. That was exactly the topic. I wanted to know if your uh, masturbation habits have changed because of your transition. And uh, maybe you don't have to talk about yourself, but, uh, you know, uh, oh, other people yes. that no, you no, know. No. Let, How about let, that? Me, let me talk about this. All right. So it's a lot. It takes a long time. It takes like four hours to get this done. Most people, it's not a big deal. For, for me, it's like forever. But when I do orgasm, it's really, really intense. So it must I'm be after a four-hour buildup. Jesus. What's that? Oh, I, I, that's, I could tell a story about that, actually. Holy okay. shit. All right. After, after well, this. After Lauren, I'll yeah. my story first. So here I am. I'm staying in a house full of people, and one of these roommates that I'm staying with, she says, oh, I'm going to go masturbate for a few minutes. And I say, okay, Can bye. I watch? And she disappears, and a few minutes later, I see her again. I'm like, are you going to go masturbate? And she's like, I'm done. <laughs> I look at her with this, like, total jealousy. Like, you can do that? Sounds look, like me. It's not just a man thing or a woman thing. It's, it's just, like, a person thing. You know, I've heard this from asexual people. I have an asexual friend, and uh, they represent apparently like 1% of the population, but these people do exist where they do not feel uh, sexual attraction towards other people. They feel a uh, normal sense of love and romantic attraction, like, ooh, I, I really like this other person. I want to spend all my time with them. I want to marry them even. They have like those kinds of thoughts, but not like I really want to get in that person's pants and, and have sex with them right. and get carnal, you know? But they so the do, other, they do the have other the feeling it's like... associated with Sex yeah. Last Anarchy, we do an entire episode about asexuality. Oh, rad. Okay, well, I'll have to look that up. But the, the point I'm making is that even they have this need to clean the pipes, as I've heard it called. So yeah. it's just like... Yes. Biology is still producing stuff. Yes. Yeah, it's just part, it's part of humanity. It's part of being a living thing. I won't lie. I listened to the Sex, Lies, and Anarchy episode that she's talking about, and I remain skeptical... Of what? Of asexuality as it's... What? Yeah. Are you kidding they exist. I mean, these people are out there. No, what, yeah. Who are you they talking about? They absolutely exist. Since I've really messed with my body chemistry, I, I know that this is possible. Wait a minute. Are you saying that you, at one point, felt a bout of asexuality? Uh, no, I've never felt that way. Oh, okay. Well, then how do you know that it's possible? The way that I've been able to alter my body just tells me that there, there could be such things out there. Yeah. Such potential could exist. I think there's probably there may be some 
but I, I suspect um, anytime someone, if someone were to tell me they were asexual, I, I'm not completely sure I would just take that at face value. I, I, th I'm sure there are people who are exactly as described asexual, but I suspect a lot of those people have some kind of issues that makes them unable to embrace their sexuality fully. And that's going to get some people mad at me for saying that. No, I I could kind of see that because my my one friend who uh, has has self described yeah I just think but like what if he's just not good with girls what if he's just too afraid and uh, just can't go there you know or or is too afraid to make the move or, or was sexually abused or something less dr dramatic than being sexually abused but something that jaded him sexually in some way that makes him uncomfortable and unable to express it in a completely uh, healthy manner. Right. right, because sexuality has to do with desire, not the actions that you're taking. Right, I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not, and, and the right. other thing about it is someone who says they're asexual, there's a certain power in that, right? Because when, if you're attracted to someone, that's it, vulnerability. It feels vulnerable, it feels as if that person has power over you, right? And, 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 and then especially if it's not reciprocated, right, if they don't have attraction toward you, it feels it feels like a kind of power, or it feels like a. I, I like vulnerability better, Derek. Actually, you you feel vulnerable to them, and and someone who doesn't like that vulnerability, I can see them saying, "Nope, I'm I'm not attracted to anyone." Yeah, it is it is a power, um, pa like it could be a power play. But Lauren, you disagree? You think that these people are out there? I mean, to give us a little bit of insight from what you know from the Anarchy and or uh, Sex Lies and Anarchy podcast. Um, sure. Well, the, so the part of the reason why I actually know that they're out there is because I know this one person who used to be a very good friend of mine who is asexual, and did you two ever mess around? No, I, I wasn't attracted to her either. Oh, interestingly, which that is sucks. yeah, I don't know if that means that I'm some like empathic sexual person. Like my sexuality is based on the sexuality of others. I don't know if that's even a thing. Uh, but for her, yeah, like I would, there was definitely some really attractive people I'd introduce her to, and there would be like nothing there. Like I, I, I ran experiments on this person, and we're no longer friends, sadly, because of it. Attention. Now I sound like a horrible person. Have you been in a serious no, that was a good way to end that. So that was the end of the first hour. Terrific. We made it through. Woo! And um, yeah, wow. So the guy who I know who is asexual is one of my best friends from, from growing up in the Philly area, and I wanted to blow him, like, the whole, I always wanted to have sex with him, and, uh, I, like, I could never go there, right, because he's, he's completely asexual, he's not gay, he likes girls, that's what, one of the weird things about asexuality that I learned from him, is that, um, you know, even though he has no sexual preference, he is, like, romantically interested in girls, if that makes sense. Sure. I guess so, yeah. I guess, to the extent that I buy that he wasn't attracted to anyone. I don't know. I, 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 and yeah. here's, I'm not saying they're liars either, because certainly a person can convince themselves of something, right? You can, you can convince yourself of something and delude yourself. So there's the possibility that, they're, that they really are asexual, is the possibility that they're saying they're asexual is a possibility that they believe they're asexual. I would feel like, so even though I want to blow my friend, I feel like that would be kind of abuse, right? Like I'm using him. Like, yeah, okay, a penis, if you stimulate it, is, is going to have the same reactions, uh, you know, among the whole population, even if he's not technically interested. That's why, like, guys can get blowjobs from other guys even if they're not gay. But it would be sort of a, I don't know, it, it would be kind of like abuse. Derek, could you get a blowjob from a woman? What? Could you get a blowjob from a woman? Could I or have I? Both. I'm not interested in that, so like, no. And no, I have never gotten a blowjob from a woman. I just feel like... Why is it? Why is why am I presuming that they wouldn't know what they're doing? But it's because they don't have the equipment, you know? So like, I've got... Guys have a lot of experience. If the fat, if it was a fat girl, I hear they I hear they know what they're doing. I hear they're quite well, good I'm at. Sorry? It. If it was a fat girl, I hear they they're quite good at it. 
why would they want? Why would they know what they're doing more than anyone else? Because they need to. They need to be good at blowjobs in order for what? That's to get the dates? Joke, right? Is that they need to be good at? It. That's horrible. That's a terrible joke. Yeah, that is a terrible joke. You're a bad person, Dale. Let's, uh, let's team up on Dale for this next hour, no. Lauren, because uh, he was uh, sending some some mean memes around the internet about feminism. Well, that's okay though. Why? Why it's why it's okay to hate on feminists? You know, you give a lot of shit over here to the Keniacs for being yeah. douchebaggy, and then you piss off all the feminists. Like, oh, it's fine. It ain't nothing. It's because yeah. of our hate movement. Oh well, so so, so are you. <laughs> I'm not a hate movement. <laughs> right, right. If you just call someone out for being hateful, that doesn't make you hate. If someone is actually being hateful and you call them out on it, that doesn't make you hate them. Yeah, I guess it depends how you do it. You call people douchebaggy. That's that's your method. Well, I, I defined what I mean by douchey. Yeah, you did. I'm just hating on you. I'm the hate movement. Hey, and I'm in Shire Liberty News. That article is in Shire Liberty News that just came out. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. That's great. Um, if you go to, yeah, go to Sandy's uh, Facebook, and she linked... The Shire Liberty News. Uh, I'm watching porn right now. I really can't do that. <laughs> nice. What I was going to watch was the Magic Mike XXL. Oh, man, is that good. I mean, those guys' bodies are just so they're like glistening, and they're, oh, they, oh, those muscles are nice. They're quite lovely. They're oh, quite man. It did special things to me, just watching that video. It, like, it's such a mind fuck to see so many beautiful men, and... Uh, you know, I know it's it's like, oh, these are images on a screen, but it's so, I don't know. I've never been to a, an actual strip bar. It seems kind of sleazy to me, but I do want to see that. I mean, really hot guys right in front of me is a nice, that's a nice prospect. Oh, my God. There's strippers all the time. I lived in L.A., and you go out to the clubs. They, they, there's strippers everywhere. Well, there are strippers at clubs, yeah, but it's like, it's not the same as Magic Mike, that, that oh. kind of stripping environment. Right. Maybe not. I, I don't... Yeah. I've been to clubs that are primarily about watching strippers, too. Yeah. Is that good? Do you throw dollars... Do you throw bills at them? I've done it. I've given them dollars. It felt like... It just had One dollar a... bills? I mean, that's the standard, right? So you're not being cheap for giving yeah, them ones, but like... Never give them more than a dollar at a time. Because why? Because I guess because I'm cheap. I'm not going to give them... I'm not going to get anything for it, right? <laughs> it's not like they're gonna put out. They're gonna put out. You know, we'll talk, but they're, yeah. they're no. But if you if you talk to them and you have this nice emotional connection and have a great conversation, maybe maybe that's what you're paying for. Emotional connections are for normal people, not strippers. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> strippers are normal people, and I'm bringing twenties when I go. <laughs> I'm, out to Jesus. I'm out to offend everyone tonight. That's my goal, apparently. You know, just. You know, so there were there were like there's this one club I like in um, Philly called Eye Candy, and um, there are some really hot guys there who walk around with um, you know the serving trays of Jello shots and stuff, and they'll like put whipped cream on and stuff. Yeah. And um, you can give you tip them. It's customary, you know, you you pay for the shot and you tip them in their like speedo. So that's a nice little opportunity because it's like you're paying. Yeah, you're tipping for the drink, technically. No, okay. you're 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 paying for the touch. That's what it is. Oh, like, so you, when you say you don't get anything, like, yeah, with a stripper, if you're like tossing bills, like sliding, making it rain, then yeah, you don't get anything out of it. But if you're paying, for, like, I'm grabbing into your speedo, you get to touch them a little. You're not touching their dick. I'm saying you're you're just touching skin. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you know, that's worth it. That's worth five bucks. Five bucks for touching them? For just touching like their waistline? I mean, maybe a little oh, abs? I don't know. That's a dollar. That's a dollar. <laughs> that's that's not good. Something, that's a dollar. Yeah. It's not really an accomplishment to have abs. I know everyone works so hard. You know, these we love to watch these guys on screen have abs. Uh, Neil talks about it all the time how badly he wants abs. But like, really, if that's like, there's so much you could do. I guess, thank goodness for podcasts, because you could theoretically listen to podcasts while you're working out and um, and get the abs that way, but I just feel like people with abs are, are broadcasting a message that, like, 
I sacrificed <laughs> yeah. valuable time that I could be doing actual stuff for just making the same motion over and over again. Um, Something I think about a lot lately, like I've thought about more lately than when I was younger, is you look at someone like that and you know what their priorities are. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, uh, what's in your head? Because I know it's on your stomach, and I like it, but <laughs> that tells me there's there's a trade-off here. There's absolutely an opportunity cost to devote that much time to your physical fitness, mm -hmm. and that's and that usually t takes something. I mean, there's genetics too. Some people are just some people can get abs a lot easier <laughs> than other people. So Let's talk about that. We're coming back in five, four. You sick? For more, keep checking theonion.com. Hey, do you have abs? I don't. Because I don't have the time for that shit. I told no. Do you? I have them with just the right angle, with just the right lighting. If I twist and get myself in just the right position, and then I have a really feminine tummy. I'm not afraid of it. I'll show. I'll show off my tummy. We were gonna do yeah, a shirtless episode, right? This is yeah. where. It's cold. You're not doing it, Dale. Oh, you're too cold. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm not afraid of my tummy. It's 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 um it's flat, you know. It's like a woman's tummy. I don't have abs because I don't have time for that. I have time to eat appropriately. Okay, I I had a, a tuna salad today, and uh, you know I don't pig out. I eat right. I I exercise enough. Like I shoveled snow for an hour yesterday, an hour today. That's enough. I feel like if you're active, that's what you should be doing. You know, the general stuff of life. But abs, we were just talking about this during the break. People who have, like, a really ripped stomach, what the hell have they been doing with their lives? I mean, do they accomplish anything besides physical there appearance? Are some, I have to weigh in on this. There's some people who have natural abs. I feel like I had that. I used to just run all the time. I never really did much sit-ups. Yeah. And I, I had abs. It was sexy. They were, like, good, had really good abs. Past tense, what happened? I have a high metabolism, and that's just. And and I took and drugs. I and I drank. Yeah, no more. Yeah. If you're an ectomorph, you might have abs without that much effort. I had abs for a brief time in the Navy when I was jogging every day. And yeah. Then, yeah. What is no, jogging? I have Pudge now, Dale. I don't have. I just don't have the equipment anymore. It's Pudge. I remember being yeah. in the Navy. I remember being looking in the mirror, and it was just exhausting. Like every day, we're jogging and. And the whole process of being there was so exhausting. And I just remember one morning looking in the mirror and going, holy shit, I've got abs. Like, <laughs> You're like, I'm sexy. Mm. It was, yeah, it was for reals abs. It blew my mind and then never again because that, that was just – I had to be driven. Like someone has to be cracking a whip behind me. Yeah. Just, abs are a real um, – they're a, they're a game changer for Grinder. So like there are several different levels of guys on Grinder. There are the guys who don't show their face at all. They just show some like sunset or landscape. Do you use Grinder, Dale? I tried it and I just got really bored really fast. I didn't. I, bored? What do you mean? Not enough people in your area or something? I I didn't see anything that really interested me. I didn't see any. All right. Do you use some other apps or something? Do you? I mean. No, I just quit running it. Like I had it installed on my phone finally, and I. You're like, I've given up. I'm just whacking off to porn. Fuck the dating scene. I, I'm j I'm Derek, I'm jaded. I, I, there's, there's no doubt about it. I won't pretend. I'm pretty jaded at this point. So <laughs> I, like, I, I, you know, right. I play scene. And I really got into all that, and I went, I went to, I went to circuit parties on a regular basis. I danced. What's a circuit, circuit party? All, ecstasy all night and all this shit. Oh, and. Right. It just jaded me, you know. All right. Well, so. well, here's the thing. So for those of us who still like sex, there's Grinder, and <laughs> I do need to tell you my story though that we we got sidetracked. I'm gonna tell my story about a re taking a really long time to masturbate. All right. I definitely want to hear about your long time to masturbate, but I'm just talking about Grinder. There's uh there's guys who don't show their face at all because they're like in the closet or something or they're married, and um, then there's the guys who have a nice face picture. And um, but if they're just their face, then you know there's something they're self-conscious about down below. And then there's the the like premium level guy, which is he can have anyone. These are the people who just show their abs, or they're they're the face and abs. So like if it's just abs, you know their face is fucked up, or or maybe they're a little bit nervous about um you know being public. Yeah. yeah. 
But that's what, what I'm talking about is the abs thing. I am so self-conscious about this when I'm on Grinder because I do not have abs, and I cannot advertise that. I've got a pretty face, and I'll put that out on Grinder. but it tells me, it, it, it gives you, a, you know, I've got a B. You know, like there's A, there's A, B, C, D, and F, right? And I'm, I'm probably at like B level because I'm not putting in the effort to have that physical appearance, and it's limiting. You know, it's 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 something I'm self-conscious about too. But I then again won't put in the effort because I'm doing other shit. I'm being productive, damn it. You know, I don't have time to sit there and do the same motion over and over again just so I can impress some guy for like 30 seconds how you can have an orgasm. And like what do I get out of it? Really? Right. Right. No, I, there's uh, priorities. Like don't, don't yeah, don't upset. That's don't how I feel about masturbating right here. What? Same motion over and over again for hours. <laughs> what do you get out of it? So Lauren has said it takes her four hours now to masturbate. It's long. How long? It's like three. It's like three hours. What's the longest time you've ever masturbated, uh, Dale? I would say it was about uh, two hours. About two hours. And I was watching the old Beastmaster movie, the original one, on my What is that? <laughs> what is... Are you into bestiality? What the hell is... This guy was in like a loincloth and he was ripped and hot. All right. Yeah, and so in the whole movie, he's all through the movie, right? And and I just was like watching. Just like a movie with a plot besides like ding dong, here we here we are, let's have sex. No plot. Yeah, no plot. There's something about yeah, he he could talk to animals with his mind and see through yeah. their eyes, and uh, and he was fighting bad guys and weird. You mean the animals? Um, what? Have you fucked an animal? Have I fucked an animal? Is that what you're asking me? You heard my question, and the delay is getting awfully long. No, no I have not. Why are you asking me? What brought that up? Because out? you're talking about Beast here, okay? Uh, that's what, yeah, but... There were and you can look into the eyes of animals, and you're all into the werewolf shows. I'm just okay. curious. Okay. You know, no. I, wouldn't throw you, I, wouldn't put, I wouldn't throw you to the wolves here, metaphorically or, or literally. No, I, not at all. I, I, I've said, like, if someone pays me, I'll fuck a sheep. A sheep? A lot of money. Really? Like a, a sheep vagina or an asshole? A prefer, preferably a vagina, right? I mean, it's not like it makes any difference. Like the, I think it makes a big I difference. I wouldn't know the difference between a boy and a girl sheep, right? It's not like I care. You could impregnate it accidentally. I, I don't think so. I don't think that can happen. Anyway, so I'm, we're way off topic here. Way off. I don't know how we got on the... Bring us back to the long masturbation. Spent, watched this, the, I watched the whole movie, and I was just like bringing myself close, but stopping because I Why? watched the whole movie because I was really turned on by, by it. This yeah. guy's ripped and hot and wearing a loincloth all the way through this movie. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I was just obsessed with this guy and his body. So, and and I spent like two hours like getting close, stopping, and then letting it. That's called down. edging, by the way. I didn't know it. I didn't have a word for it at the time, but that's what I was doing. I was edging myself. Hot. And I love edging. Yeah, and it was other guys too. It doesn't have to be just masturbatory. It was a geyser. Like the end of the movie, when the movie was finally over, it was just like fucking geyser. That's one of the benefits of edging is that like I don't know if your balls get bigger or what, but you can just blow a load. I think that's <laughs> you're happening. Like, cool. You're you're feeling there's like semen collecting in a repository. There's like a gland or something. It's a, I think it's in your prostate maybe or another gland. Yeah. And I don't. I don't think it's your prostate. Your prostate's what produces the semen, maybe, and then oh, mix you have to pee and whatever. Huh? You have to pee during the movie. Uh, I didn't. No, I didn't have to pee during the movie. I have I'll to pee you, after I after I blow a load. It's like you know, I was really close and I started, uh, I started like just peeing semen. Oh. It was like just I, I thought I felt kind of like I I just like I just kind of relaxed and some and semen just kind of started pouring out almost like it was pee. Oh my god! It was like so, that much it was ridiculous. So Lauren, before your uh, transition, did you have any experience with edging? Um, I feel like my whole life is edging. I feel like I'm, I'm living on the edge. <laughs> like, right? I mean, you know, four hours, three hours. God, it's, what is that uh, like for you? And how often do you masturbate? Is it once a month? How long? I mean, you got to block out time. You got to put this I on mean, your calendar. Yeah, no, I, like I, that's the thing. I was saying, I, I actually take a uh, personal day when I really, when I want to do it. Like when you want to do it, so it's like it's a last minute decision. It's not something you plan weeks ahead. Is it a frustrating four hours? Yeah, is it yes, frustrating? It is frustrating. Damn. But is it good? Is it like? 
Oh, it's lovely. If I could do it all the time, I would, sure. Okay. All right. We gotta get you one of these Hitachi wands. I've not used one, but I hear they're incredible. Have you have you heard of these Hitachi wands? Apparently, they can get anyone a, off, guy or girl. You have one? Yes, I, I have a. Well, no, no, I have a friend who has one. Maybe and you you've borrowed it? it to me. Maybe you two no, should use it together. Maybe team masturbation would be the answer. Hey, uh, hey, Derek. When we come back, can we plan the butt waxing party and see if we can get any straight guys to come? Oh my God, yes. And, uh, yeah, of course, like, if they want to remain anonymous or something, or they're, they're married, we'll, we'll, we won't let anyone know. We won't take any pictures, I promise. Life. They should... Straight guys, come on out. Get your asshole waxed. I love my magic mud. Um. <laughs> oh, that, that commercial right after <laughs> what we did. Did, that, did you just go to commercial? Yeah, that's a commercial. Your teeth, isn't it? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was in the chocolate chat room one day, and it was for your teeth. And I was like, I my teeth are in great shape. I don't need this magic mud crap. I, I my teeth are doing great. Let's see them. Get show us your show us your pearly whites. They're they're pretty white and and they're in great Let's shape. I I bleach mine. Look How the heck is that for you? Huh? Yeah. We're doing funny faces at the camp. So, um, <clears throat> man, four hours. Is it always four hours? Like, is it a predictable four hours for you, Lauren? Or is it like sometimes your orgasm will take you by surprise? Like, oh, that I mean, was quick. I've, I've done like, you know, 30, 40 minutes. It's been, it happens. But, you know, I have to plan for like a four-hour period. You need porn. I think that's what it is. Like, my imagination is pretty good, but... Yeah, well, there's no gay porn for me. There is, though. There's lots of lesbian no. porn. You're no, 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 no. no, those are for guys. straight women making out with each other. Yeah, that's for guys. It's not for lesbians. Yeah, it's totally different. What so about auditory what? stuff? Like, I mean, need what? For it to be good for les like for lesbians. What? Run that by me again. Oh. What would lesbian porn need to be? What would it need to be to make it good for lesbians to enjoy? Uh, it needs to be real. So people like, make real porn and they put it on porn tube and re and red tube and all the rest of them. They, there's all <laughs> kinds of amateur porn now. Everyone's got a webcam and and a, and a cell phone. That's what you need to check out, Lauren. You need to go to like porn tube. Porn, I think it's porn I have, I have. Trust me, I know how to. We're get gonna it. finish this today. We're gonna get you some good porn, Lauren. I mean, if it takes there, the whole internet. It is are there listeners that could, like, help me yeah, out? Yeah, come on, listeners. Help us out. Lauren needs some porn, okay? She needs to get off, and it needs to not take four hours. For, That's gotta, right. There's some, are there live listeners right now? Too? There are. We have live listeners. They may not want awesome. to identify themselves, but they are here. I can see them. Okay. You can send me anonymous porn. That's fine. Well, they can send me a message on Skype. I'm Derek J. Freeman on, on Skype, and I am signed in. I'm also signed in as Peace News now. So either way, you can get in touch with me. So I got to pee. I'll be right back. I promise not to touch myself too much. Does that mean you just orgasmed? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you just orgasm tonight? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, really good that's my code that's word for like, I'm going to go back off, and it's going to take 30 seconds. I'll be right back. Jealous. Something very specific porn on this thing. It's long red hair twink and young black. And then this I don't think that's for me, though. You're not helping the situation. Says, Pass that ass through these cell bars. No, this isn't right. I mean, this is just the first page, so let me type in lesbian. Lesbian. Now, which what, now which website are you on? Pornotube. Pornotube. Zero clips oh. and zero pages. What the heck? Oh, maybe am I? What am I doing wrong? Maybe there's a okay. Um, I'll let it know. This might be all gay. I thought Pornotube was. I can swear Pornotube was uh. Both, like gay and straight. But oh, oh, there's a straight. Okay, hold on a second. Category, all right, categories, straight. Okay. Okay, we're coming back in ten seconds. <clears throat> Lesbian falls under straight. Hmm. Hmm. Getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. 
If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. What were we talking That's about? Amp. Oh, LRN. yeah. Great guys. Yeah, we were talking. If we're back, then Dale was just talking about how lesbian porn falls under the straight category. Really? That's weird, because yeah. they're lesbians, so that's gay. I'm going right. to show it on my cam. It's not, because it's the internet, and there are no gay women on the internet. Dale, are you going to uh, violate the rules of Google Hangouts and share some lesbian porn over your screen share? I'm not going to show any porn. I'm just going to show you the selection screen. Uh, okay. What's the selection screen say? Let me. I'll, I'll show you. It's uh, You have to go to the straight tab, and then lesbian is underneath that. See, that's why Lauren hasn't found this yet. She's been looking under the gay section. And what I was saying, I was recommending oh. during the break, is you got to look up for some amateur stuff, like no, no, people no, no, no. recording it themselves at home, because you want the real thing. Yes, I do, but I've, I've been everywhere. Trust me, I've, I've been around for like three decades of Internet, and it just doesn't exist. I think there's a market. I think I need to make my own. Here's the thing, Derek. This is what I'm talking about. Um... Let me, uh, here, here, I'm cutting to... Struggle the, is real. See, look right. at, there's see. no, there's no game. Yeah. All right, we're, we're looking at your screen, Dale. You're seeing lesbian. It's lesbian under straight. The straight tab. So they, obviously, this is intended for straight men. It's not intended for lesbian. And if you go to gay, there's no lesbian. See? <sighs> Let's see. Isn't this crazy? It's a quandary. <laughs> So I was also recommending on uh, implement some sort of uh, tool for the aid of masturbation, like um, a dildo or a Hitachi wand. These are really popular for, um, I don't know. I've never used these Hitachi wands. Dale, have you used this thing? No, I don't even know what it is. Is it electrical? Does it electrocute your scrotum? Not your scrotum. Your, uh, no, no it's, pure, it's just a vibrator, and it's like apparently... Just the best vibrator that, that's out there. I don't know if it's. I don't know. I I gotta get one of these things. This up. I bet it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Go look that up for us. We need to figure this out. Cause like new the new mission is let's get Lauren off and right. make it take less than four hours on video that's for the, the mission, for the watchers. You know, it's just not. It just doesn't seem fair. So like before you transitioned, how how often were you masturbating and uh, how long did it take? Uh. Wow. This is pretty detailed. Uh. You know, all a lot, all the time, frequently. I, yeah, we we could be even here. This isn't like uh, it's just two way street. If you want to know, I masturbate every day. Yeah, and it's, yeah no, I, I'd like to. I, I, it's that's that's my goal. That's where I want to be. Yeah. But it's it just doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah. It's only forty bucks. Forty bucks. Let's get it. We got all get. We got to get it one. We're gonna get it. We're gonna work Thanks. on Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, more and also we'll we'll bring it to our uh, butt waxing party. Yes. Uh, Lauren, are you going to come to our butt waxing party? Is that where I have to go to, to get one of these? Well, no, this is something else. But we, we, we just said uh, right before the break, we we're going to schedule and plan a Flaming Freedom butt waxing party. Maybe it could be during Liberty Forum. This should be live streamed as well. well what about on a different night? Because there's, I know there's another party happening that is sort of replacing this, the SLA party. Yeah. Oh, that can't ever be replaced, guys. Let's be well, very SLA party is immortal. Like, you cannot... No. Well, Fair I don't want to, I don't want to um, conflict with that party, so maybe on a different night we could have a Flaming Freedom butt-waxing party. And here's how the butt-waxing party works, right? Everyone needs to bring their own waxing kit, because you don't want to use someone else's waxing kit that they used on their butt. Right? Right? You get a new one every time. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, like, they, they sell disposable kits for this. Right, they right, they are disposable, but you can use them for a while. I mean, you don't you don't use it all up in one time. Yeah, but I mean, if it's the disposable kind, then you can, you, wax your butt, you, but you can wax your butt with the same kit for eons. I guess we're talking about different kinds of kits. I so let's be clear. What's the benefit to being at a party? You can get like a six or seven dollar waxing kit at the wall. Yeah. Hello, Lauren. How easy is it to wax your own butt? Right. I'm pretty flexible. Do do? Like use a mirror or something and try to wax your butt. Like you need to be able to see no, what you're doing. Your head down there, can't you? I'm doing uh, it so good, but I'm I'll not quite to where I can. Like, 
stick my head up my own ass or anything like that. Have you tried this, Dale? I, I forget if I asked this question already. Have you done the butt waxing party? I have, have you done this, guys? A new idea. It I've sounds very hot. About trying to wax my butt, but I just thought it would be a good. I th I thought it would be good to do. It'll be good to do a, like proper, like waxing instead of just like shaving or whatever. So Liberty Phoenix just sent me some porn. I'm gonna play a little uh, a clip of it here. So I don't know if this. I don't know what this is gonna be like. But uh, I'm not going to show it on the screen. We're get some audio here. Okay, so far the audio is very nice. This is uh, this is not helpful, Lauren. I don't know, or Liberty. Phoenix. I'm so turned on by all of this. Is this not? Is this good? Is this working? I'm going to skip oh, yeah. ahead. This, this is, really this is the, the title of this is the, the, the is quite sufficient. The perfect pussy licking manual. Oh, he's he's tickling her pussy right now. He's, but it's not just the pussy. It's like right above the pussy. Maybe this is what you need, Lauren. Maybe this will be right up your alley. Yeah. Okay. So he's like rubbing his fingers. He's just barely touching inside her legs. Oh, okay, so he went behind the knee. You were talking about behind the knee before. That's a good feeling. Can be a very intimate That's gesture. That's a secret episode, though. Not, not on this of pleasure pleasure episode. In many of them. If a guy tried to turn me on... Okay, now he's starting to use his tongue. Finally, we're like three minutes into this thing, and he's finally using tongue. But he's not even well, going for the pussy. Right now? Yeah, we have a live audience. We're playing porn. So, no, I mean, I actually have one right here. <laughs> wait. Oh, excellent. Okay. Yes, by the pool, by the pool side. Oh, yeah, you're at a pool. That's pretty cool. So is she listening to the instructions and licking your pussy? I'm no, turning the porn off. That's not that's not happening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, I'm back. Whew. Yeah, I didn't want. To, you know, I'm not learning anything from that, and you're not benefiting either. So screw that. But so, thank you yeah. for for trying, Liberty Phoenix. Keep trying. Yes. We'll you know we'll find something that's gonna work. Party. Yeah, thanks so much, Phoenix. I've honestly never seen so much pussy. Like that's. <laughs> I don't like what, we just watched like about a minute of that. Dale, that sort of turns you on. You're famously known for uh, the losing the contest. That we all had watching lesbian um, porn, and you were you were quoted as saying vaginas are kind of hot. Yeah, I did say that. If they're on a dude, they're fine. <laughs> as long as they're on a dude, I don't mind them. They're okay. On, it's the turn off. Like I can't even think about that. That gives me heebie-jeebies. Yeah, so, yeah. If it's on a dude, then it's fine. Yeah, I can I could get into Is that. Is it a little self-cleaning if it's on a dude? Yeah, I would think so. Oh, you mean because they're not having periods? Yeah. Hmm, that's a good point. I'm, I'm sure they're hygienic. I'm sure they clean and stuff. The, yeah, but do they yes, clean themselves? They, I know one thing that's. Uh, I know one thing about the ones on dudes is that they do uh, become chemically more like a dude. So like the smells and all that are more like a are like a dude as well. Really? Yeah, because they're. I because that's they're, true. Because I've experienced that uh, on the opposite sort of way. Tell me more. Right. He's got. Uh, I don't want to say that. Never mind. You say what you want to say, Lauren. <laughs> I don't have much more to say other than I think what you're saying is accurate. I think it's... Uh, dick dick. It's Do guy pussies smell like guy dick? Uh, yeah. I haven't smelled guy dick, so I couldn't tell you. Yes, I, that's, I think that's true, Derek. I gotta know. I want to see some guy pussy now. All right, we'll be right back. This is Flaming Freedom. Hey. I'm going to link you some, Derek. You're going to what? I'm going to link you some uh, guy pussy. Here we go. All right. <laughs> All right, we're getting... All right, it's off. Cool. Oh. Hey. Yeah, Dale's kind of an authority on this. All my bookmarks are not... Uh... So somebody just sent me... They said, forget about waxing. Use this. And uh, here, I'll do a screen share of it. Okay. Got Philips HP 6401 Satinel Epilator. Oh, right. It's the same thing. It jerks out here. That sounds very military. It's weird. Is it an electronic device? It looks like a razor. What's it get very close? Satinel. Like it's satin. Long lasting efficiency cap. Okay. Smooth legs. Yeah, look, it's for your legs. Oh, you can get a pack of two. 
And uh, oddly, a pack of two is like three times the price of a single one. That's interesting. You got to link that video Dale shared. What? Dale didn't share a video. Oh, the, the one he's sharing now? Dale, uh, are you going to send this video over or not? What's going on? Well, I'm. I, what I'm doing is... Uh, I'll let you have this bookmarked. Tumblr page. No, my bookmarks are messed up. This, um, yeah. Let's talk about Tumblr because that has rocked my world lately for, for <laughs> porn. Like, it changed everything. It is the best porn site of out there. Uh, did they do anything yeah. other than still image? Yeah, there are videos on Tumblr. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Get with it, Lauren. This is why you're not getting off. Need to more Tumblr. They've got everything. And it's uh it's so specific and it's like a streamline well, we should talk about this on air. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I need to be educated so that, that We all need to just air. optimize our porn watching mm. so that we're getting the, the most value. It's very it's very libertarian. There's some kind of FTM porn. FPM. FTM for female to male. Female to male. And oh. that means she still has a female vagina, but she appears male because she's been taking hormones. Is that right? It could mean a number of different things. Okay. No. It's but generally, that's what it would be probably on the internet. Okay. There you go. Uh, you have to scroll for a bit to find the good, real good ones, but um, it's kind of hit or miss. Yeah. But uh, there's some. Uh, that are pretty good. Um, let's see if I can find one. But listener request for Dale to talk about feminism in a future show. Oh, again? I talk about it a lot. That's it's not enough. Where do you talk about it? Um, the last the, year's uh, worth of Flaming Freedom? Yeah, well, this is the queerest generation. We're going on. We've moved on. This is a oh, new okay. series. So what, well, they need to be more specific. Like, what do they want me to say? Like, what do they want me to talk about? All right, Nathan, what do you want Dale to say? A specific picture, Derek. I'm going to link for you. All right. I'm going to put this in the show notes, by the way. Whoa! What? That's no way! So that is female to male? Yeah. Right, we're coming back. Com. Wow. You can put the Liberty Radio That's Network sexy. on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Okay. Well, I just had my mind blown. Uh, Dale just sent me a picture of a female to male uh, nude image of a what is now a man with a vagina. And the vagina is kind of big. I'm wondering if the vagina has been enlarged because of some sort of hormones, or if that, like, if a female vagina sometimes is just that big. So the lips sort of like are, are just like jutting out. No. I usually think a vagina is like whole. No, no, I don't think lip. that thing, that one's very big. I think in fact it might be kind of modified to be less big because that person has had a lot of body modifications. Okay. And tattoos and things. Ooh, let's talk about that. Body modifications. Have you ever uh, modified anything down there? I mean, no. <laughs> no. Except for the involuntary one when I was an infant. That oh, was that's brutal. I'm sorry about that. I was cut too. Sucks, man. I really wish I had the, um, the, the skin of my penis still there. My mom was yeah. like... I, t I talked to her about it, like, why did you do that? And she was like, well, I didn't want you to see your brother and think, why am I different? I'm like, oh, yeah, because there's nothing more value. <laughs> like, there's well, no higher value than conformity, right? Oh, well, what if you had a sister? You'd look and you'd be like, wow, that's different. I know. If she's an idiot. My mom should be See, Derek, I didn't want you to look at your sister and think, why am I different? So we had you, uh, your genitals modified uh, to be female. Yeah, well, we can just keep making fun of my mom. She's an idiot. I'm mad. That, I mean, it's not even a proper apology. 
Um, you know, you can, there's no apology that you can make to be like, hey, 75% uh, of the nerves on your penis were removed forcibly, painfully, without anesthetic while you were a newborn. Sorry. <laughs> like, there's no proper apology for that. Right. What am I looking at here? This is, uh, this is safe for work, so I'm going to screen share this. What is this we're looking at, Dale? That's another FTM who's, I think, quite attractive. And you're using FTM as female to male. Yes. The trans, trans term. Trans man or a trans man is another. Yeah. Trans the man. Called, the site is called FTM porn. So That's Sexy abs. And speaking of uh, great porn, we were just talking about how, how Tumblr has sort of revolutionized porn. Like, I never used Tumblr uh, for porn before, but now what I like about it is that better than going to a website and searching through what this website thinks I'm going to be interested in, I can select based on my own interest to follow individuals who post things that I'm interested in and then it's like even more narrow of a scope so you can you can get a, a both a wider variety and a more specific type so this is why Tumblr is just so amazing I don't know have you had the same experience Dale what are you what are you liking about it yeah I think it and and, and the other thing is people who have interests like yours they'll make a there's so many blogs out there and someone with a similar interest as you will have a blog somewhere, and you, if you discover it, they'll be posting things there all the time. It's like they're finding porn for you. That's I know. I love that. Hey, you know, I uh, so we talked about. I, so I was in chastity for a little while. It's one of my fetishes, and I'm into interested in. I love um, being locked in chastity. I would not be interested in locking someone else in chastity. Like I don't get off on that. But like the the dom sub aspect, I'm definitely a sub. So I have a Tumblr. It's uh, I don't mind sharing it. Submits to B uh, submits to the number two uh, BBC. So it's big black cock, obviously. And um, so people can check that out on Tumblr. So some images of my locked penis are on there. A person who follows me on Tumblr drew a picture, and I was like, I mean, this is. Like, big deal. You could do a lot of different things on, on Tumblr. You could share lots of porn images. But I was so touched. I was so honored that he felt like, oh, I'm going to draw a picture of your locked penis. And he sent it to me. Was that a nice thing? Like, what are, <laughs> It's a community of people who enjoy the same weird porn that you do. Yeah. That is pretty cool. I keep saying I want to hear it to me like... What? Go ahead. Dale keeps sending me <laughs> more porn. I can't share this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, most of this is not terrible. No, and these are all female to male. So you're uh, this. This is a thing you're into, Dale. You you like uh, guys who were formerly girls, and you you like them to keep their vagina, but look like men and act like men. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, you're into that. So that's that's probably why you've given up, that right? Is, these guys are hard to find. No. They must be impossible to find in real life. Uh, I don't know. They're oh. starting to be more common than they used to be. Let's talk more about that. Lauren, are you with anyone? Do you have a romantic love interest? Are you partnered? I'm... I have interests, but no, I'm not partnered, you know. Uh, are you one of those poly people? You live in Manchester, right? I'm so like definitely everyone... not one of those people. <laughs> Far from it. Associated with Manchester now? I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is it really? Yeah, the the uh, poly forum, I mean Liberty Forum, it's... it's, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, I, the, the, everyone in Manchester is poly. This is like a thing. As soon as you move there, it's like, oh, I can't just be with one person. I have to have sex with the whole... That's the perception you have, I guess. But yeah, I can see that there's... That's something. what I've seen. Yeah, this is the perception I have. You, Dale, you're the only one who's not in the loop. <laughs> no, I, I know poly people, yes, but I, I wouldn't say that that's a, a, broad, a broad, widespread thing in Manchester, no. It is a thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that down. Okay. As who lives there part time. Uh, it's definitely a thing. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, I'm not into that. I I like monogamy. I I like I said. I'm too afraid to even do a three way. I can't do that. It's too much pressure. It's well, like I don't care for them honestly. I've done them. I've done the orgy the one time, and I've done three ways. And honestly, it's I don't have the attention span for it. Maybe. The attention span. I'm more concerned about the other person. I'm like, you know, I'm, I feel useless, or I would feel useless at certain points. Like, when it's one-on-one, -on -one, we are focused. It is one, you know, I know my job, they know their job, and we're doing it. 
right? But with three people, it's like there are going to be certain times, and I love orgy porn, so I'm watching porn like this all the time, where there are brief moments of like, all right, what am I doing? The other person sort of has to figure out like, how can I be useful right now? It's sort of like, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Like the, these people sometimes are are a waste, and I don't want to feel like a waste while having sex. I think that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, it's just hard to. I mean, trying to divide your attention between two people, it, I don't feel like I can enjoy it as much as if I just have the one person to focus. On. Yeah. So right, yeah, I feel like the outcast here. I, I think it's great. I think it's the best sex I've ever had. Is multiple people sex? Mm-hmm. Was it guys and girls or just girls? It was just women. Yeah. So what what sort of sex acts were you guys doing? Was there, I don't know the names. Was there scissoring know. going on? Probably, yeah. Were you licking each other's pussies? There was some of that too, yeah. Well, come on, tell me what was going on here. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't. Say it. <laughs> no, just everything. Everything was going on. That's see, that's the beauty of. of yeah, but help me imagine. I don't. I don't watch. That. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut over you. What? What? Oh, oh it's it, cool. No, no, no. I mean, the beauty of, of or? having multiple people is that everything can go on. Yeah. All right. So tell me, what's everything? This isn't that kind of show, is it? I don't know. Uh, apparently not. So I'll tell you. Yeah, sorry, man. That's okay. Maybe in future episodes, I'll let you know. You know. So I don't know, Dale. You you've really hit me. Uh, you've struck a nerve here with the I've given up thing. I did not expect that. Cause like I will tell you from my experience, I have a very hard time finding guys to date. Not a hard time finding guys to have sex with, but the two I think are very different. You know, right. like, I ultimately would like to have the two be the same person. Right now, that's just not possible, because how many libertarian guys are there, anarchist guys are there? Hopefully, this show won't completely ruin my chances of finding <laughs> an right. partner for life. But, you know, it's sort of uh, taking that path. The the hope, I would think, is that, like, um, we could connect over Homotarians Facebook group, if people like that. It's not like a dating thing, right now, at least. It's like, hey, we need to be connected. We need to know who each other are first. And, um, I don't know, do you, do you have any hope that you could just have sex with somebody and just not care about them? Like, uh, just dismiss yeah. them? Yeah, but I don't, I don't seek that out. You don't seek that. Why not? I, I could I never do that. No, you need an emotional connection, Lauren. Absolutely, I'm, I will never Lauren have meaning sex. FM, we talk a lot. All right, Lauren, do you hear the play out music? Not, not now, but when, when it happens. No, no, uh, I don't. Okay. I don't want sex bad enough to do it, and then I usually so, don't enjoy it very much when I do have like one night stands with people. You don't enjoy one night stands? No, I usually did not. Why? I don't know. They always That's just sex. Just, you're disappointed in what? Uh, maybe I was. Maybe it's because I had some really amazing sex with certain people, and it's just hard to find anything like it again. I don't know. You know, like people you gotta, are disappointing now. What do you mean? The, their sexual performance is not up to snuff, or that like the emotional connection adds so much value to the sex that no, like. No, even like they're just not. Yeah, they just just hasn't done doesn't usually do much for me. I just mostly am like wanting it to be over and and then glad when it finally is over and then don't want to have sex again for a long time. You sound like you might be asexual. I'm not asexual. asexual. We I'm figured it out. I um like the porn I'm looking at, it's very hot and um, you know. I need a sex bot. That's what I need. Just like it just does exactly what I want and a yeah. sex bot. Yeah, I need a sex bot. Do you have one of those um, uh, flashlights? No, I don't, but I kind of want one, honestly. I've really wanted one, but they're so expensive. I don't want one bad enough, I guess. They're I just keep so getting sent porn. This you is know what? hilarious. If someone, if one of our listeners wants to send me a flashlight, then I will review it. Oh. And give it a very detailed review. How's that? So we, yeah. can, we can bring that up maybe next show. I know Puke and the gang asked. <laughs> oh, oh, God. 
You could have oh. actually got a stun gun. What's that? Holy um, shit! What, Somebody. What should... did I just? What did I just hear? Oh my god! That was me gasping because okay, this the title of this video, and I don't think uh, I can share this on screen, but you can listen to the audio. Is two guys, one fish. Got it! Oh god! <laughs> oh. No. Oh my god. No, I can't I can't continue watching that. It's horrible. Oh my god. See, this is how I feel when I'm on the internet trying to find porn. Performing a sex act. That with experience a fish. you just had, that's how I feel. I have that. I mean, we all have that sometimes looking up porn like, uh, oh, oh my god, that's the wrong thing. I don't want to see that. It's a dangerous place out there. Yeah, you got to be careful. I forgot to be signed into the chat room. What am I stupid? the hell? I put a chat room but right on my website and I forgot to sign into it. Where can people find the chat room? Uh, it's at DerekJ.me. The... Oh, I'll be right there. You, you haven't been in it. I haven't been in it. We've got one segment left. Here we go. We're signing into the chat room, everybody. <laughs> and apparently this two guys, one fish thing came from the chat room, which I'm not surprised. You guys are filthy. I sent you a few more pictures, by the way. Yeah, I've been seeing them. I'm dismissing them, Dale. I don't want to see any more of your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into that stuff. I don't want to see vaginas. You said I want dicks. You said you wanted to see vaginas. No, I did at one point. Now I'm finished. Okay. Not your thing, huh? Yeah. No, not my thing. I like dicks. That's the one thing. See, we got some listener feedback. I'll share this with you privately before we go to break. They were like, all right, so we're not going to have as much uh, ass-centric show and I was like, no, I promise, more dicks. We're going to talk about dicks. I like dicks here. Not, I mean, asses are great, but you're into asses way too much. You need to focus on dicks. What is too much ass? What, what would you consider to be too much ass? With the Liberty Radio Network, on our Facebook page too much. at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. All right, welcome back. Oh, my God, I had no idea that we had such an active chat room going on. You can join in the fun. At ericj.me. I've got a chat room built in. It's also at lrn.fm. Same chat room. So you can sign in either way. I'm signed in. It looks like Lauren just signed in. We've got some people chatting and they're sharing porn. Why do I not see anyone but my own stuff? What's going on? I don't know, Dale. You're in the wrong place somewhere. You're yeah, not. that's yeah. masturbation. <laughs> so, yeah, during the break, I was uh, somebody shared something awful from the, the LRN chat, which was two guys one fish. And I'm saving all of this, by the way, for the show notes. So if you are adventurous enough and you want to actually see what was there, I couldn't stomach it. It actually like, made me physically ill and disgusted. I almost puked. Hmm. All right, so and sorry. And I think I was saying that that's how I feel every time I'm trying to look up porn and I get, like, straight sex. So what about straight sex turns you off? Just seeing the two individuals, you don't like their bodies? Because like, I can watch straight sex for the guy. Like, I'm into that. Often the girl's just some ugly throwaway I don't care about. Women Often the guy is some u- ugly throwaway, too, though. It's, uh... Women are turned on by completely different things than guys. What do you mean? Tell the, me. The, the kinds of things that they want to see in porn or in sex, and the, uh, it's just completely different. Guys, for instance, are very genital-focused, right? Whereas, a, you know, Lauren talked about someone touching the back of her knee. Is that right, Lauren? Or Like, their whole uh... thing. That's on the secret episode, but yes, yes. Yeah, but we're going to repeat some of the things from the secret yeah, episode. There's yeah. enough in the secret no, episode I, I that people would go so by a point. Their body is responsive, and, and you know, everything's distributed more, and whereas guys are very genital-focused, and guys are very visual, and women are you know, into a lot of other feelings and other things going on. and So, so porn for guys is going to be just very different than what would be appealing to a woman in general. And most porn, it, it, really the entire sex market, it's almost entirely a market for men. Like the customers are men. And women are for the most right. part not that much into a, a part of the market. There's a very small That's fraction exactly of them. That's why our, or not our, uh, the color gray, Fifty Shades of Grey. That's right. why that's popular. It's, it's not yeah. like it's good or anything. It's just there because it's catering to a really thirsty, thirsty market. Which is what? I haven't read. I don't know what the it's market is. just women is. who are horny. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why those have an outlet for it. That's why I always saw those novels. Those are the you know the ones with the guy, the shirtless man, and there's like yeah, he's holding a woman. They're like thick as hell. That is girl yeah. porn. Oh my yeah. god, it's not uh, even uh, visual. Like I want to see a magazine. I want to see big dicks. I want to see some nice curves and asses. You are not interested in that. You want to see text on a page? Are you kidding me? Not me personally. No, I thought you personally. Okay, so you're actually. Have you never, have you never read uh, articles or not so much art, not articles, stories, porn stories that turned you on? You never, you never read like domination and submission and chastity and things like that. Stories that turned you on. I've skimmed them, but like it's no. I mean, oh really? Okay, because I've always loved those kinds of things. Maybe I'm kind of girly. I don't Maybe know. Maybe you're just a nerd. I think that's nerd focused. Cause like. Nerd if text can get you off, then, yeah, you're a nerd. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, the, what's the weirdest porn that you've actually enjoyed? I I, have, uh, I can remember hypnosis porn that I was like, wow, this is amazingly sexy. I, I have never heard of uh, oh. hypnosis can, can porn, you, but they, like, can hypnotize you. Can you describe you. What, that, what that is? Yes. It's a man, and he's, uh, you know, does the same, like, okay, I'm going to, you know, he's, like, real soft voice, but um, also sort of, like, Doming, you know, like um, commanding, because I'm like I'm into the dom sub stuff. So telling you feel and telling what? telling you how to feel and telling you to do things and yeah, right. yeah, exactly. So there's like instructions that go along with it, but it's also like a hypnosis. So there's like a countdown from ten and a deep sleep type thing, and like you know the same feeling that you would uh, that you're supposed to get when you wake up from a hypnosis, like oh you're totally refreshed and everything, like. That, but uh, even more intense because it's like this uh, deep hypnosis experience. So that was that's definitely the weirdest porn that I've enjoyed. And I haven't really sought it out since, but if I came across uh, some good hypnosis porn, send me that, viewers. I want to <laughs> see some good or listen to some good uh, hypnosis porn either way. And, and, the, uh, and Derek brought up in the break about, ask, you asked me if I had a flashlight. Yeah, and do I said, you? I not. They're, very, they're expensive. They're like 70 bucks or something. They're expensive, and I just didn't want one badly enough to like pay seventy bucks for it. So, if That's listeners like a standard price for a vibrator too, by the way. If listeners want me to review a, a flashlight, you could send us one, and I will absolutely give a very detailed review of it. And I don't want the butt flashlight. <laughs> I want the vagina. Uh -huh. You want the vagina flashlight? I really want the vagina flashlight because I'm never going to experience that. You know. You know, it, other than if I have fleshlight. Right? Did you know Christopher Cantwell uh, gave both of his roommates fleshlights for Christmas? Wow. Is that not the best? That's <laughs> a very generous gift. gift. It's a very generous gift. Why? Is it, are they expensive? I think so. They're like, I think they're like $70. Holy you know, shit. A, a good fleshlight, like the actual name brand fleshlight. Wow. Okay. Well, maybe they were knockoffs. I don't know. The ones, the knockoffs I don't think are very good necessarily. It's just funny where you put your values. Right, like uh, yeah, definitely the vagina one, not the butt one, because I've had butts. I don't know what a vagina one would feel like. Right, yeah, I don't, I don't think I want the vagina one. It would, it would gross me out too much. I would think about like having sex with a woman. I don't want that. Yeah, it was the rest of the, it's the rest of the woman that's the turn off though. It's everything that's around the vagina. It, yeah, but even the shape, even and and I'm sorry if this offends women. It's like I mean you can't do much about the shape of your genitals, but it's like that whole thing is just not of any interest to me. I, and it's not like asses are that great either, but um, you know none of it is is very pretty, frankly. Huh. Okay. Right. Well, it seems to me there's an obvious appeal just from the fact that you have a penis. What? No, I'm I'm interested in penises. I like that, but you can't fuck a penis. But the uh, all right, never mind. Have you ever inserted anything in your penis? I a little, but I didn't, it didn't really. God, that terrifies me. Yeah. The guy who's asexual that I talked about before, same guy, likes inserting things into his penis. That's a thing, and I I mean, there's like porn out there. That's one of the things you talked about, Lauren, that like scares the hell out of you when you get to the far reaches of the internet, and you're like, oh my god, gotta click the back button. People mm -hmm. sticking things in their penis scares the hell out of me. It's like oh, nails well, on a chalkboard sort of thing. Neil will walk out of the room if you even breach that subject. I have had a hole put in my penis by one of my ex-boyfriends. It's still there. I can't, I, you know, it's not going to seal up. 
It's a uh, frenulum piercing. You know what those uh, right under the skin of mm -hmm. the head. Oh. So you know, like I'm into BDSM type stuff. I like being tied up. I like uh, some. You know, I have snake bites in my lips. And while I was into that stuff, I, like I he pierced my nipples and my dick by hand. Oh, okay. With a needle, and that was very sexy. But now I'm like, okay, I'm done with this piercing. It doesn't go away. And uh, I don't put anything in it because it ter it's like, it's it's scary. Like, what if something gets hooked on there? You know, like what what if I'm zipping up and and all of a sudden the zipper catches on a on a piece of jewelry? I've right. ripped my dick off or or put a hole in it. I like it or <laughs> well, it becomes yeah. a flap. Speaking of those kinds of holes and the sticking things in your wiener, there's sounding right where you stick a rod in there. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's and called sounding. Thicker and thicker rods. Yeah, it's called sounding. <laughs> And cool. then you can keep using thicker and thicker rods so that it gets wider, kind of. Oh, my God. It, like, gauges your, your, your urethra? Yes. And then there's a, there's a thing you can do where you stick the rod down there and you find it to, pretty far down past your balls, right? And then you poke a hole there. <gasps> and then that's called a urethral reroute, and your pee will come out of there instead of your penis. And everything out, else. Out of your balls? From behind your balls, like, and from your, like your, your channel. Right, your channel from like peak in the gang. It's, you have a channel. That's there. your that's For your real? taint, right? Taint. Like, right, your taint. like your pee, you'll pee out of your taint basically, and your everything else too, like semen, and it'll all come out of there. Instead. Oh my god! So that's that cool. actually would be a good way for straight guys not to get girls pregnant if they could have sex with their penis and then ejaculate out of behind by by their taint. Yes, it would also probably. I wouldn't count on it, but it would probably also reduce STD likelihood and stuff. Yeah, it could. Hey, speaking of, we don't have much time left, but I, I was uh, I wanted to start the show with this question. I guess we'll end up uh, fi finishing the show with this question. Spit or swallow, Dale? Uh, ideally swallow, but I guess it's not considered safe. Lauren, same question. What's the question? Spit I don't understand. or swallow? What do I do? Yeah. I, I've never, never been that was the right one, so I don't know. Well, I'm for swallowing. I'll just say, put that out there. And, yeah, I uh, think I would be too. Cool. You know, why cool. waste? It's an insult. Mm. Yeah. Alright, there's more filth coming up next week. We'll do this every Thursday from 10 to midnight Eastern on LRN.FM. We'll also have it posted on FlamingFreedom.com. Any final words, ladies? This is some... This is a whole new Flaming Freedom. This is crazy. Class, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to have Derek here. <laughs> All right, it's been a blast. <laughs> it's been fun, guys. I'm going to hit the stop broadcast button. Peace. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, we should do some plugs. Uh, DerekJ.me is the website where you can uh, see these uploads as well as FlamingFreedom.com. Don't forget to like our Facebook page, Facebook.com slash FlamingFreedom. Piece. I guess I would like anarchyinyourhead.com. Oh, yeah, nice. That's a nice plug. Do you have one, Lauren? Uh, I'm usually found at sexliesanarchy.com. There you go. We'll see you next week. <laughs>